Do you know the secrets of the black market? Welcome back to Cocky Gachas and in this video I'm going to share with you guys some of the secrets of the black market and how you can effectively abuse this to your own advantage. So right here you can see this is where you can find the black market, it's the luxury merchant and I know that a lot of your free to play players like spenders and people that have never gotten a purple card right or even participated in the auction system you might find this extremely daunting and also pointless because you either don't have a zany or even even if you have the zany you want to spend it on something else rather than on the cards on the auction house and you see those prices you are you find it extremely extremely high and also for the black market itself you only really uh, can participate in it right you can sell things to if you find purple cards right so if your luck is not good you might have never partook in something like this but in this video i'm going to share with you some of these secrets that can make it a lot more accessible to even players that are looking to just obtain purple cards for free right technically for free for duration of time so first things first we are going to touch on the purple card mechanic and the black market mechanic so not all the cards are born equal and we know that right so some cards effectively cannot be bought from the uh, shop itself so when you go to the store you can see that there is this auction place the normal cards that you will usually find right would be in your um, store and then it will be over here right these are all the cards that are somewhat accessible to people right? although some of them are still out of stock but most of them accessible to people you don't have to bid for it there is a standard sort of standard price right it doesn't fluctuate too much from this standard price and then these are all the cards that you usually buy you wouldn't go to buy the purple cards for nothing because everyone is still accumulating a lot of those normal cards first however if you are so lucky that you get a purple card right i think the first question on your mind must be i want to get this amount of zany imagine you got a skeleton worker card and then you see that the prices are closing for in the auction house upwards of 1.9 million i think i just saw it closing for 1.9 million minerals card closing for 1.9 million as well as the hydra card closing for around 1.1 million so you must be thinking i can get that amount of money but to your disappointment that is not the case and that is where the black markets comes to place so i have an example over here i actually have two purple cards on me i quite luckily got this ancient shroud card the other day um so this is one of the my newest purple cards this one i got from the ultra rare coupon so in fact you might think that this will sell for a lot but uh actually if you go to the black market you can see that it only sells for a whopping 200k and the madu card in fact sells for 338k but this madu card selling for 338k might still be lower than the price of the auction house so the fact is you will never be able to obtain the money or the zany that people bidding your cut like will give it to you so it will always go to the system what you would get is what the auction house offers you right the black market offers you they never offer you two million don't be naive right it will never happen so for the madu cut for the ancient shroud cuts people second thing that people might say is that I'm going to get this amount and if I get a second Maduk card, it's also going to be this amount, right? So people have been claiming things like this, that this price is always fixed regardless of the price in the auction house and the answer is also false. So just two days ago so when I checked this Maduk card price, right? Uh, three days ago if I'm not wrong, it's 318k. So now it has rose to 338k. Why is it the case? So if you go into this area over here right, you can see some of the rules so what it means is that some cuts or some items can be sold in the black market including blueprints so the selling price would fluctuate with the recent deal price recorded in the auction house and then it will make random offers depending on the trading trends so as much as there is no symmetry in both the prices closed in the auction house as well as the prices that are being offered in the black market right there is a correlation so if more people are bidding higher for a certain cut the cut value will increase at the black market hence what i can do with this ancient shroud card is not to sell it first it's to wait for other people to sell the ancient shroud card and then wait for the prices to slowly beat up if this is a super popular card subsequently people will bid for very high prices so i can keep until then and then the prices might rise um, substantially but i don't think it's going to rise too much right so definitely you can keep your cards and then you can prey on the prices so this is one thing so once you were to sell it on the black market right then you can instantly obtain the zen you don't have to wait for the auction house to close so this is something that is quite basic but for beginners this is something that you also have to know right not a fixed price so if you really want to wait you can wait on it now with the basics of the black market out of the way let's now turn our attention to the auction house and i'm going to touch on how effectively you can abuse this auction house system right to its maximum potential a lot of people don't know about this but i'm going to share with you all the tips and tricks and then also you can decide for yourself whether you want to abuse this right 
honestly, it is quite decent if you do have the Zenny for it. So, first things first, you can see right here, I've placed a bit on this Goblin Archer card. Do I need this Goblin Archer card? No, but it's just for demonstration purpose. And don't be afraid to place bits, right? If your bit was to be surpassed, right, the Zenny will be instantly returned to you. And for people that are asking for the other rules of the black market itself or the auction house itself, you can take a look at this question mark over here, right? It will tell you all the rules, when it starts, when it ends. All these are very, very basic. I don't want to touch on this. I want to let you guys know what exactly happens after the bid becomes successful. So for instance, today, if I were to win this bid right here for the Goblin Archer card for maybe 300k, you can see that I actually do have 300k Zenny. So if I win it for 300k, it goes into my mail. And imagine today, right? In the black market itself, you are selling, you are able to sell this Goblin Archer card for 400k, right? You farm a Goblin Archer card, you manage to get a Goblin Archer card, and then you sold it to the black market for 400k. And then in your mind, the cockwheels will be turning. You'll be thinking, hey, I bought this Goblin Archer card for 300k. I sold at the black market for 400k, meaning every time I buy a Goblin Archer card, I'm going to earn 100k Zenny. Is that true? That is not true. Okay, guys, the, the devs are not idiots. They are not going to make systems like this where you can abuse so blatantly, right? I'm not going to introduce something to you guys that is this outright broken. No, not like this. So what happens with this card is that if you were to bid it today for 300k, and you go back to the black market, right? Later, if I manage to win this bid, I'll try to win one of the cards. I'll show you guys. You can only sell it for the amount of money you bought it for, right? However, there is another element to it. Now you might ask, what happens if tomorrow this Goblin Archer card, right, actually closes at 400k? Do I now go back to the black market and am able to now profit 100k again because I bought it for 300k, tomorrow the um, auction house closed for 400k. Once again, 100k difference, I'm able to profit 100k. Is that true? Once again, guys, not true, not true. Okay, the system, once again, not stupid. You can only sell it at the price that you buy for at the highest amount. So imagine I bought it for 300k, it can only go down, it cannot go up. So tomorrow, if it closed for 250k, Unfortunately, you can now only sell it for 240k or 250k, whatever that amount is. It has to be lower, it cannot be higher. If it's 400k, you can only sell for 300k. So once again, this part, don't bother trying. You can't abuse this. Everything that possible can abuse, you can count on me. I will have already tested it, cannot abuse, okay? So what I'm going to introduce to you guys today is something that technically can be abused, but I don't think they will fix it. It's not that OP, but it is pretty, pretty useful. So I'm going to list down the scenarios it's going to be useful and also going to teach you guys how to do this. So Future Cocky is going to take over this part because I realized that I made a mistake in my previous video and then someone pointed out one of the viewers. I'm really, really appreciative that people pointed out. I immediately took down the video because I don't want anyone to be receiving this further misinformation anymore. So I'm going to correct all the information right now and I'm going to talk over the footage. So basically, what you want to do is that you want to spend the Zenny right, that you have. For instance, now you have a 1.5 million or 1, 1 million Zenny are trying to save towards a 1.9 million Zenny skeleton worker card, right? Because it closed at 1.9 million. You don't have the Zenny, what can you do with the Zenny that you have on hand? What you can do is you can beat on a card, any of the purple cards, right? That are below or at 600k. So the reason why is very simple. If you were to beat on a card and you would be successful at your bid, as you can see in the footage right now, I have the Goblin Archer card that I'm bidding for 282k. If I were to successfully bid for this card, afterwards I will be able to sell it for the full price of 282k. But I have the time from now, the moment that I have won the bid, until the next day before another bid closes to retain that price, that 282k. If tomorrow the price is going to close at 250k, like I mentioned, I'm going to suffer a 30k loss, right? But if I were to sell it before before it actually reaches the next bit, I am able to sell it for the full price. I'm able to use the card for one extra day. So you want to do it with cards that are below or at 600k because like the viewers pointed out, it's at 600k where it's the cap. So you can't really buy a card that's more than 600k and then subsequently sell it back for the full price. That is not possible. I've confirmed this with 
some of the whales on my server um, to check with them right because they have some spare hydra cards lying around they haven't used it to um, awaken their concern that you can only sell it for 600k so really really thank you to the viewers for pointing this out so don't do it for hydra card don't do it for cards that are above 600k if your tower frog card goes above 600k try not to do it right unless you really want to just pay 2k zenny if it's just 602k 2k zenny just to use it for one day feel free to do so but you can only sell it back for upwards to 600k but below that everything is free game just go and buy whatever cards you want below 600k you can use it for one full day and i would really recommend that you go for like gf card is for anti fear right you can also go with tara frog card usually tara frog card closes around 500 plus k on my server and i will say that this is extremely extremely useful if you are in a new server whereby the zany cost for the cards itself is not extremely high not everyone have that much zany right so you can definitely exploit this for quite some time until the prices rise above 600k beyond that then you can't exploit it anymore as effectively anyways and also right for people that are asking can i keep it for more than one day right what if i keep it for more than one day then you are just like living it up to luck so if you really know the market well right then you know that hmm, i want to rent this card for one week i don't really want to use it in the long term but i feel that in one week the price would hover around the same range then feel free to go for it so if tomorrow you can use it and then you don't want to sell it back don't sell it back tomorrow if it ends like 30k below that price you can wait for a subsequent another day you can keep waiting until it hits back the price that you bought it from and then you can sell it so this is what i would recommend for you guys to do this is going to be very effective if you want to just rent out a card to technically get your free purple card minimum one day if you want to go for more you're going to risk the variance right so up to you but this is a good way to get a free purple card to use for your events to use for your um, dailies to use for your grinding so you can gain an unfair advantage by technically paying zero zen and before i forget shout out to scorpy for helping me test out that maduk card price so that i can further confirm this information is accurate okay now i'll hand it back to pass cocky i believe i've already successfully gotten the beat for my goblin card as you can see here i won the goblin archer card so if i have to claim it I got the Goblin Archer card and guess what when I were to sell it back into the black market instead of having a quote unquote fixed price what I'm getting is the price that I sold it from so 100% stress free 100% return there is no way you are going to lose out from this unless the shadow change the systems after I release this video but from what I can tell in Taiwan server it's still exactly the same so you can definitely abuse this and I believe some people out there is already secretly abusing this to rent out all the cards technically you are getting them for free day by day night by night right using them selling them back using them selling them back right getting the additional benefits while paying technically nothing just that your zenny will be locked up for the day itself until you sell it back if you want to use it for half a day use it for half a day right but there is no harm in going one full day because the auctions really wouldn't end before your guild events would end and that about does it for this video where i touch on the black market just going to sell it right back get back my zenny all stress free also if you guys are interested in seeing me suffer definitely check out this video i'll see you guys over there this is cocky gachas signing off